Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to your place of chill. That is the coffee company. Uh, it is Friday, and there's nothing to do, is there? Yeah. I'm here with Graham. We are talking about our trip to Milan next week, probably. And um, yeah, we're just gonna chill out. Well, not probably, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you never know. There's, there's always some way that someone's going to ruin it. But Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. I don't expect much people in the chat today, but if they're, if they're here, they're here. Too many people streaming, as usual. People want to hear about the financial nonsense that was announced today. I looked at M4, what's this rubbish? Can someone speak English, please? All I know is he got 226 quid in cash. 226 million in cash. I know they've made a loss, Yeah. but then where's the other 50 quid that they yeah. were supposed to, or 50 But I also quid? seem to notice, they seem to separate the football club from the stadium. If you look at the things, you don't. it doesn't say Tottenham Hotspur Stadium PLC, it's yeah. just Tottenham Hotspur. So they conveniently left that out because they know if they put that in. Well, you see, what they haven't uh, listed is the stuff from Lady Gaga, yeah, uh, NFL, which yeah. is what I come back to saying, right? There is more than enough finance, right, in the coffers so, without having to touch the football inside yeah. of things. <coughs> I'm not an accountant. Of course, there's people watching the stream. Big out full ball, big out full ball. Hopefully you're well, buddy. Hopefully you're well. Right, coffee, sir. Uh, cappuccino. Yes, any particular coffee? Top of one sort. Sorted. And if you've got something um, that you, you'd like me to try? No, these are all good. These are all good. Ice family. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. They're all preparing for the nonsense of next week. Are you there all week? Uh, I come home on Thursday. Thursday night. Because I've got to do work here on Friday. Right. So you won't want me around Friday? Uh, I'm going to be here, but I'm going to be there. Oh, right. I'm not going to be here. Oh, right. I'm going to be in that shop all day making coffees. Oh, right. So it should be fun. So if I can't, I have to go in there. Yeah. Right. I don't know what the plan is because I still haven't organised my plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but wing it. That's what I usually do. Well, if you want to meet up, do a spell. Yeah. I'll let you know. You know where I am. Yeah. So you meeting up the video? No. You're not? He's, he's not spoken to me. All right. The only thing I know is Tuesday morning, I will probably be heading to Navigli and seeing Seven Grams and seeing Mary. And that's it. If anyone wants to meet up, I'm always, but at the moment in time, I'm just going to see my mates that live in the lab. Right. If someone wants to meet up, they go organise it. Milan's a big city. Not that big a city, it's easy for me to, to navigate. Our well, Tottenham fans doing what they usually do and meeting up at the Duomo for a sing song and then getting on the tram. Well, I don't know where, yeah. And I know there's a few other places. I, I don't know what me and my mate are going to do first off. We, we meet up with some people in uh, uh, Milan on Saturday, Monday night. So, no idea what I'm doing Monday night. Monday night, I will probably be going out and having a, a nibble. I wouldn't have for a meal, but yeah. I, I don't know exactly where we're going to be. It's, it's probably going to be about eight to ten of us. Yeah. If you're around the Duomo, give me a shout. I'm staying literally two minutes from the Duomo. Right. So, if you're around that area, give me a shout. All right. Thank you. 
Let's see anyone in the chat. Morning, Ian. Morning, afternoon, evening. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. So, hopefully, all well. Suspects, Vinny, Vinny the Goon. That's all Vinny uh, on the screen. Vinny's great laugh. Uh, long before people call me a gooner. What for? Have you seen on the street my my GR L58 comes yeah. up in red. Oh god, you need to change that. That's what I'm, I was asking you the other day. I don't know how to do it. At least you know how to do it. Let's see if anyone in the chat knows how to do it. Uh, there's always someone that knows how to do something. Chat is smart. They know everything. Yeah. That was a guitar lesson. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Focusing mostly on technique. Yes. My parents and my brother are all out at a bloody show tonight, so I'm going to treat myself to a Caribbean after we have a beer. Bigging them up, where are they? They're not here. Oh. He's uh, formal with saying, big up Danny Kay and Daigle, where are they? I don't know where they are. Hello, Mr. Jason Bell, afternoon, buddy. Happy Friday, good morning to you. I was gonna take him to the Milan game, but it's like he never he never called me, he never did it. Do you wanna go or not? Yeah. We had spare. No, not in the end. I only got two tickets. So my mum's not going, my brother's not going, well, my brother doesn't like football anyway, so. I was just you and dad? Yeah. I like. Up in the gods with you lot. Oh, right. Should be a laugh. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, it's going to be good fun. It's going to be great, I think we're going to be in. We're definitely winning tomorrow, I don't know. Harry Kane against Leicester, he's going to score 15 goals. We've got meet, I got to meet up with uh, a load of Leicester fans anyway, so yeah. I, quite, I quite enjoy going to Leicester, I have a good laugh there. Leicester fans are great. I have a right good laugh with them. Leicester fans are great. And they're all these boys I'm meeting up with are old um, football hooligans of yesteryear. Yeah. They're really, really nice people. You're meeting me up with Wayne Holland, he's a really decent fella, he's a really good bloke. I've got a feeling one of the boys in the group knows uh, Wayne Holland, I think. I'm not sure. Good lad. That, that's going to be the first thing I ask if anyone knows if they do get into the, uh, our meet where we're going to be. Yeah. Really good bloke. Nothing with respect for that guy. Because we're, we're in Leicester early anyway, so. Yeah. Just 
Just with your promotions. I don't know. There we go. Go on. Well, Sean, there. Uh, probably rubbing his hands with glee at the moment. Oh, absolutely. Get some, get some more content. Might send him a text message. What does this mean in English, please? Because <laughs> I do not understand. Do I get my pitchfork out or no? No, no Mr. Cox, no. But I want to get the pitchfork out. <laughs> I know you do. I love a pitchfork. Uh, how much do you charge for a glass of water? Nothing. Afternoon, Catman. Afternoon, buddy. Hopefully you're well. Funny. Me and my mate, we, I went out for a drink on Wednesday night. Over yeah. The Wapping, right? We got into Wapping's this, lovely. We got into this pub called the Wapping Tavern. Yeah. And it started on a quiz, which we were going to enter, but yeah. we were too late. So we sat there, right? Second half, they done first sort of 15, 20 questions. Yeah. And in the second half, there was about 35 questions. Yeah. So my mate had some. Uh, paper and a pen in his pocket yeah so we decided to do although we weren't in the quiz you did, we did the it, quiz we did the quiz right and uh one of the barmen saw we, what we were doing yeah right and at the end he he came over and he's taken our sheet yeah he's given it to the quiz master and you won no we didn't know <laughs> but we we actually beat everybody but the team that won no well the team that won uh, still never got as many questions right as what we did, right? Because we in the second half we got thirty four out of thirty five questions right. Yeah. Ah, oh, great stuff. Is that Graham B up Graham not from Catman? Yes, it is. It is. He's here. It's Bobby K. Big up, Bobby. Big up. Hi everyone and everyone in chat. Just a quick pop in to see hi and hit that like button. Absolutely. Cheers for that, Bobby. And if you want to send a tip, there is that thing. Thank you so much, Bobby. Great moderating, sir. Great, great stuff. And Bobby K is saying hello to you, Graham. Hi, Bobby. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we got 34 out of 35. And the people that won, right, yeah. even with their other 20 questions, still only got 27. Not very great, are they? So we would have won that quiz hands down. Yeah. Because we, we knew a few of the questions in the first half, but never did nothing. Yeah. But we knew about seven. Yeah. At the 20. But we weren't really taking a lot of notice. Yeah. So we know we know where to go for a quiz to win. And most of those quiz teams that were in there had five or six people in, in the team. Yeah. And you had two of you. Yeah, just two of us. Do you need a batter them? Like we, a bit of cod. We've got we've got a plan for about three weeks' time. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Oh, was a laugh. The thing is there's a league cup to come. Yeah. Not a league cup, FA Cup to come. And then um the next leg of the Champions League from our mate it'd be the uh, um that conference stream or whatever it's called. Yeah. On the Thursday. So that could be, I think it'd be four weeks rather than three weeks. Yeah. But we're definitely going to do that. Quiz. Absolutely. Ben, I asked my boss to give me an hour break every day to watch the show, but for some reason it was denied. Something about leaving customers stranded, blah, blah, blah. Damn them. Damn them. Bobby K needs his stream time. What was your fit thoughts on the fact that the Beyonce concert is on exactly the same day? It's outrageous. It's hilarious, right? It's it's hilariously outrageous. Are they are they that stupid? Imagine if Tottenham get to the FA Cup that it's year. It's my daddy wedding anniversary on that. as well. Oh, yeah, as well. As well, yeah. If Tottenham get to the FA Cup final and win, there are going to be over half a million people in Tottenham High Road. Imagine if it's an FA Cup final of Tottenham Hotspur versus West Ham United. Yeah, right. which is possible. Which is possible, right? So that means that all of the Mets leave will be cancelled in London. Yeah. Right, because they're going to be at a venue 
where there's ch chances of severe um, naughtiness. Yeah. Right. Then they've got to keep both sets apart afterwards. Yeah. And there's going to be no police in Tottenham. Yeah. They're all going to be at Wembley. Yeah. And then all the Tottenham fans that have been at Wembley, if Tottenham beat West Ham, yeah, they're all going, going to be, be in Tottenham. Tottenham. Yeah. They're all going to be in Tottenham. And the, the kickoff time is exactly the same, same time, time as the concert starts the concert. because of um, the rules around the um, the noise at, at Tottenham, yeah, it's ten o'clock, right? And uh, but you see, my, my mates and chick chick kids, help yeah, me, right? They they're leaving. They'll be leaving Tottenham at half past nine, whether Spurs win, lose, or draw. Yeah, because if they don't go by ten o'clock, they don't get away till two o'clock in the morning. No, right? Because it's uh, locked down. Yeah, till then. Ah, uh, it's madness. Hi Rob, all in chat. Hope you enjoy out, chill out for absolutely. It's feel good Friday, absolutely. That's what we're doing. If we win, if we win tomorrow, we're in a title race. No, we're not. So sorry to say, no, we're not. We would be if Arsenal lost. <coughs> you think so? Yeah, I think so. Don't, why, why shouldn't we be? Don't forget, don't forget, Arsenal have still got to play Man City twice. Yeah, but that's. Uh, it's called what's it called? Jewish insecurity. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not I'm not getting ahead of myself. Oh, look, neither am I. We've got loads of really easy win of not easy games because there's no easy. We've got winnable games and we do better at the second half of the season. Yeah. If we can get, put a run together, there's everything's possible. If Arsenal fall off the rails, which is very possible, if Man City fall off the rails because except for those two Arsenal games because of the news and whatnot alleged news it's still of course anything can happen in the words of what's that ever that song is I uh, see I, I don't look upon Man City as guilty until until, until the until A they, ruling has been ruled right. because at the end of the day all that they've put out there there may not be uh, as many things as people think Right. At the moment, they've been charged with a hundred breaches of financial irregularities. Yeah. But that's not to say that every single one of, of them... course, not everyone's guilty. Yeah. It's and you're not telling me that a multi-billion uh, people haven't had their their barristers on that. Yeah. Let's see what happens at this moment in time. They are not guilty because. Innocent to have proven guilty in this country. Exactly my point, yeah. Uh, but yeah, when Tottenham win the FA Cup in in May, it's going to be a nightmare. But we see that Spurs might get extra points for understanding. I hope so. Yeah. Imagine we won the league. If we won the league because we spent the least money and they gave us a load of points, that it would be a real. We'd all have to hide from our, our good friend Sean. And I'd let him glow it at me. It'd be hilarious. Oh, and I'd be in, in his face. We'd be we'd be having a party with him, wouldn't we? We'd be like, we'd be dancing around the streets of Tottenham. Be hilarious. Big up, Shawnee. Big up, Shawnee. Except he's probably streaming at the same time as me. We'll forget it today. We're not going to forget it. We've got seven at the moment. We've got Bobby K, Ball Ball, Mr. Jason Bell, Mr. Belcher, Mr. Catman Jess, all the chill people. That's see, all we're here for. See what I say to you? you? You'll always get your regulars. That's why you should always stream on a Friday, no matter who streams as well. Unfortunately, we can't next Friday unless we can find a way of rigging up the computer. Right. It's on there, not here. But it should be fun. Okay, but that's an that, that's an exception. Sexy. You know, you, you're not not streaming because you can't. Yeah. Or won't. It's because right? you're working. Because you've got something else on. What I'm saying is, if you're here, it should be streaming. Yeah. Should be streaming. Monday to Friday is what you've always done, and it's up to them, idiots, who yeah. stream at the same time as you. Absolutely. Meanies. Greedies. Yeah, greedies, greedy meanies. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call them. We only let off one person. Yeah, because he always communicates with him. Yeah. Yeah. 
We don't let off anyone. No quarter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at least he did you. In the case. No quarter. I even had a go at Stell the other day because he was. Uh, oh, did yeah. you? That's funny. Oh, today, and I spoke to him, I said, You should be streaming at the same time as Ben. Because <laughs> he was doing it, he wasn't. He wasn't yeah, really. yesterday. Yeah. Told him off. <laughs> Good. Tell him off again. I'm allowed to. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's going to be weird not streaming for a week. It's going to be weird. What was your view on the um, protest on Saturday? Not enough people. And as you, because there weren't enough people, we get we get labelled as extremists. Yeah. Extremist and fringe. Thugs. Yeah. Thugs. Does anyone think I'm going to uh, uh, beat anyone up? I'm not a thug. I'm not a, no, they never speak to someone like me. They speak to the... I'm not extreme. They, they're trying to portray us as extreme. I'm not extreme. You didn't hear my, my nickname on there, so they did you? No. Yeah, they called me Mr. Electric. It looked like I didn't plug you to that, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, my hair was standing up on end. Where am I going to my morning chill next week? No idea. We're going to have to find the thing. We could win the treble this season. Treble's on in the words of Kiva 99. Still on. Yes. Uh, it's still on until it's not on. But that's we, we're labelled as extremists by these big, these like one of these Spurs YouTube. We're, we're labelled as extreme. We're not extreme. We just want what's best for the football team. And in our opinion, it's not what's best for the football team. Have a conversation with us. Not late. Like, it's what's it called? It's attacking the people. Not attacking the argument. But those same self people that are attacking us are attacking you. Really. Yeah. So why don't they come on on the street with us? Or, or not just uh, how about we find a happy medium? All right. So it's still said to him, find me something that I can attach myself to that we could all do it together. Yeah. Rather than moan and groan about it, let's do something that everyone. Let's, can let's do. unite. Let's do it together. Uh, there's a lot of people out. I mean, I come into the ground on Sunday. Um, uh, guy Cat said to me, yeah, Catman is saying it's not like you guys are laying in front of traffic type process. No, we're not. Yeah. We're, we're on the pavement. We're on the pavement, being peaceful, and not talking breaking, to one another. talking to what, not talking to, talking to one another. We're not um, attacking the police. we we are being really respectful. It's like I was talking to a guy from a. Uh, an independent company called yeah. Sports Edge. Yeah. And he was taking pictures of us. Hmm. And I said to him, are you taking pictures for Daniel Levy? He says, I'm not taking pictures for anybody. I'm taking pictures for myself. Yeah. And if people want the images, they're there to sell. Yeah. And if they want them, they can have them. Don't matter who, they, who it comes from. You know, I've got issue with that then, because if he's taking pictures of me, I want the money for that, because I've got this face trademarked. Give me the money. <laughs> it is a trademark of the coffee company. Yeah. Damn right. Ben, are you going to, to Milan? If so, everyone in Italy will love you. Everyone in Italy already loves me. They love me, yeah. Yeah. Even yes. If one or two that don't. <laughs> Even the Milan fans like me. It's a problem. Yeah. Uh, but, Italian art. The Italian uh, army. No, no, no one spends more time in Milan than I do most of the time. So yes, we are, will be in Milan, eating our favourite foods, uh, going to our favourite restaurant, even if we lose. And yeah, it's going to be fun. I uh, hope everyone is well. Big up, Paul G. Hopefully you're well, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Remember, in Italy, the game yeah. starts at 9 o'clock. Yes. You won't be getting out of the um, stadium before half eleven. It's it is what it is. People in Italy eat late anyway, so it's just like we book to go to our favourite restaurant. Because the metro system closes at twelve thirty, yeah. unless there's uh, a delay in anything. So we have to do the long walk in the dark to the San Siro racetrack, which is where the restaurant is. Yeah, I right. 
Who's going to Milan with you? I'm going with my dad, my mum and my brother. But my mum and my brother are not going to the game. They will be chilling out, probably shopping, and hopefully buying me some cool clothes. That's what they're there for. So we're, st we're going to our favourite restaurant, which is called The Ribbo, which is very famous. It's uh, where the old San Siro racetrack is, and it's where all the AC Milan players dine after the game. So you'll be sitting there, and then Paolo Maldini walks in, and you'll be just like, you're God. But, and, like, every single person in the restaurant just like stops eating, and they just all just bow down to him. It's great. Yeah, mum, mum and dad would meet yeah. there. Right. It's not difficult. It's an easy metro drive, uh, ride. One line. It's like you have a good meal anyway. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's the, what's it called? The Suffer the Blow of Tottenham. Right. Because they will leave us in there for an hour, won't they, after the game? Half hour is what they're talking about. Because the game starts at nine, which means the game should be finished around... 10 to 11. 10 to 11. Uh, I'd say, I'd call it quarter to 11. It is what it is. We'll be drinking plenty of coffee. I'm surprised it's the late kickoff instead of a six o'clock kickoff or seven o'clock kickoff. That's what they did last time. No, there's no, there's no. Because it's a um, knockout round, yeah, isn't it? There's no uh, early, uh, early game on any of it. Yeah, knockouts. I don't understand why they don't just make it eight o'clock Italy time and have the game being shown here at seven o'clock UK. But they're not going to change all the uh, metrics for that. <coughs> it's a bit it silly, is, really. No, but it is what it is. Now, Europe is, are used to playing football at nine o'clock at night. It's because it's hot, too hot over there yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <coughs> oh, it's going to be freezing cold. And I dare say. I was talking to a couple of mates of mine to, uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. It's probably 85% certain that the Champions League might get moved from Istanbul. Oh, because of the earthquake? I know, no, some, I know someone that's going to be rubbing his hands together. <laughs> Move the Champions League final to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium after the Beyonce concert. So Beyonce concert in the morning, Champions League final in the evening, or do a halftime show. But the Champions League is probably week, isn't it? Tenth, the tenth of uh, June. Yes, but they want to do two more concerts, don't they? They've already organised two more concerts. For Beyonce. Yeah. yeah, but it's the it's the twenty eighth, so twenty ninth and thirtieth. The thirty first is, is vacant because Beyonce wants. Um, time out yeah and it's the first second or third of june maybe so it's thursday friday saturday uh rob is saying sign up maldini whilst you're there he would still be an upgrade on diet absolutely he would be he he like you did you ever see maldini play in, in my god i'm an update on uh eric diet yeah <laughs> but especially uh, maldini he can he could if he wanted to he could still play football yeah. That. If I could change my legs, so could I. <laughs> uh, Gattuso versus Jordan will happen again. This time it'll be Zlatan versus Stellini. So, Stellini's not that type of bloke. Stellini's cool. He's a cool character, he is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to push you, Stellini. I mean, he's hard, but he's calm. He's not like Joe Jordan, who would hit you. But I'm saying I wouldn't want to um, move that anywhere. So he's Mark already been in for a coffee? Yes. Oh, right. So he's obviously got that. He's organising some new things for us. He all did that, but he's making a sign for us that we can display our coffee. Right. Which looks pretty nice. That's a look nice. What coffee is that? That's uh, the Twilight Princess, which okay. that's what we're taking to Jan. So he's going to have the coffee for next week. So we're, we're just going to turn up and make the coffee because right. I get back Thursday evening. Right, so if I can, I'll, um, I'll come back. Yeah. 
I think a few people will come around the front. That's going to be good. Uh, we're going to show the Anne's customers that we're the coffee in the area. Right. And people need to understand that now. I mean, they will get there, but it's people are people will not change their habits. If they drunk terrible coffee their entire lives, they will still drink terrible coffee. They've got to be physically forced to change their habits. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I've been in my eyes, sort of been drinking terrible coffee. Yeah. Days, and I still do. Yeah. But until I come here. Yeah. Right? But that's something. I've Some got, people don't know any different, though. I've got to. Um, because my, my wife wants to come and see you anyway. Always so, welcome. So that we can buy ourselves a coffee machine. Yeah. So that we can have a cup of coffee. Yeah. And of course, we need to speak with Emma as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to, yeah. Making sure that uh, Kit Kat's the chocolate bar, not a wafer. Absolutely. <coughs> everyone needs to know this. I think everyone does know this, except for a few people, but we we're not going to comment on it. <coughs> I need to update those. I'm not happy with them. I can make them better. They work though. It's not a damn cookie, Ian. What have you started now, Graham? You started the argument again. Good. It's a good argument. Kit Kat is a Franken snack. Who knows what it is? The only way we're going to know is if Paul Stewart says it's a chocolate bar. We need to send him a message. Is a chocolate? Is it a chocolate bar or a biscuit? And then once he says, we all have to agree with him. Good for sandwiches. Paul Stewart's word is law, or if he says the wrong thing, then I'm starting the Kit Kat version of Protestantism. Okay, interesting. Paul Stewart is the man, though, Ian, so whatever he says is law. Or if Glenn Hoddle says it. Because as we know, Hod is God. What happens if they move them, the Champions League final from Istanbul then? Someone's going to have to call Nick because he's booked a hotel room. Yeah, but uh, I've got a hotel room booked, but uh, on a uh, cancellation basis. Yeah. I don't see them moving the final. Really? Istanbul isn't affected, is it? Well, it's, it's the access, isn't it? Yeah. But from all of us at the coffee company, we want to give all our loves to the victims of anyone involved with this. It's not a nice thing, but I don't know. Um, Is our new director, well, could be our new director of football, how to teach his band worldwide. Is he any good? No, it's crap. Is he? Yeah. I mean, he's good at making money. 
But would he be like like Paratici? What would they sack him? Or would he? They'd have to because if he can't do any de dealing worldwide, what's the point? But he could or he could hire people to do his job for him. What would be the point of that? He could just delegate. Bring back Paul Mitchell. He's the guy they should bring in. That is us to still today. If you bring back Paul Mitchell, you've got to bring back Pochettino. I reckon uh, Paul Mitchell could work with Conte. No, but if you're bringing Paul Mitchell back to apologise, you need to do the same to Pochettino. Absolutely. Right. And then for me, that's a complete waste of four years. Well, it is. So I wouldn't bring either of them back. It's been a waste of 23 years, though, Graham. No, but in, in that term, in that term, it's a waste of four years. They should have, they should, they should have just given them what they wanted to begin with. They should at least give us our money back if they do that. No, I wouldn't be opposed to that anyway. Yeah, this is a good one. Have a look at that for me. But how is everyone doing? What is everyone doing this weekend except for watching Tottenham beat Leicester tomorrow? How is everyone doing? Brentford Arsenal. And Brentford beating Arsenal. They might give them a game, Brent. Brentford are a proper team. I think people sleep on Brentford. They beat Man City, though. Yeah, but that's the only game they have. It's madness, right? And West Ham beating Chelsea tomorrow. Actually, that's going to be a nil-nil draw, isn't it? What would happen if you? Uh, I would probably get killed uh, for ball. And I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even say that to them because I quite like Milan fans. Uh, it is Super Bowl weekend here in the states. I want some hot wings. Have you seen Pep Guardiola called out Daniel Levy at press conference? Did he when? What did he say? All I know on here it says um, uh, we got Guardiola calls out Tottenham's Daniel Levy and takes aim at the Premier League rivals. What, what was what's the quote? All it says is Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola calls out Tottenham's Daniel Levy and takes aim at the Premier League rivals. Let's see if we can find some quotes. That's funny. He's got on it. Um, you can't call him a bull cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and the geezer who's put this up here says, I can't call it that because I'm on myself. <laughs> 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 Which I think is quite funny. Oh, here we go. Uh, what was so uh, quizzed on whether he feels the charges against City have been driven by other clubs? Guardiola has said, Yeah, of course, it's the Premier League. Asked to expand on what um, would be the case, the Catalan coach added, You should go to the chairman, the CEOs, Daniel Levy, and ask that. Why is he calling out randomly Daniel Levy? He's not the chairman. It's a bit suspect, isn't it? Well, you know what he's been involved with, don't you? In the Super League. It's, it's just a bit random, isn't it? Oh, and I have to get new tyres for my Sylvia, my silver Toyota. Absolutely. Uh, is asked if he feels the. Uh, what? Why is he randomly calling out Daniel Levy? It's a bit suspect. <coughs> There's a lot more than just Daniel Levy involved with the Super League. You got the Liverpool owners, the Arsenal's owners. Man United, don't it? Man United. It's a bit weird. Coover is saying, big up all you Paul Stewart fans. Big up, Coovs. Hopefully you're well, buddy. Hopefully you're well. That's rather funny.
but great stuff great stuff indeed It's just deflecting tactics. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Chris. Big up, Chris. Hopefully you're well, buddy. Hopefully you are well. Oh, now we can unplug this. <coughs> That's something I'd really like to go see. Uh, Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top are going to the bike festival in uh, Oklahoma City. Ocean, no, Ocean City. Ocean City, MD? MD, what state's MD? Oh, Maryland, Maryland. Okay. That's cool. <coughs> That's awesome. Cheers, Latin. Cheers, cheers. So ZZ Top will be at the OC Bike Fest in Ocean City, Maryland. The OC Bike Fest. What, Stratford? No, not Stratford, unfortunately. I wish ZZ Top were in Stratford. I'd be there. I would be there. Love a bit of ZZ Top. You got to go in, you got to go in our stead on the way to Maryland with you, sir. Did you get introduced to Boogie? No. Oh, and I finally heard back from the artist to confirm my first tattoo appointment for early May. Awesome. Enjoy. Get an uh, all-day arrest for Sarah on your forehead. So people know. Maryland does have some good food, to be honest. Yeah, apparently they do. First tattoo, Ian. All-day arrest for Sarah. It's what you need. It's all you need. Or maybe a stone island thing on your on your arm. <coughs> Leonard Skinner for the song Free Birds and ZZ Top because well it's ZZ Top and the beard factor is off the charts. Damn right. I'd love to be at that gig. That'd be awesome. That would be cool. I like their cookies. They are very good. Very good cookies. Very good. Yeah, very good. It's a thistle on my left calf. Boo! We need a fighting cock. Good to bring you into a chat together. Yeah, that's fun, right? I enjoyed that. Oh, it was a good laugh. Have to do one the week after next. Possibly. An angry chicken could go on the right calf. Yeah, you could do it. Or just uh, B up, B U P S. Big up, Paul Stewart. Right on your leg. I'm an angry cock. Yeah. 
all part the same thing. I don't like cocktail now. Because it looks too anorexic. Oh, God. That looks anorexic. It's not as big as it used to be. Yeah. We need to give it a bit more food. Yeah, a bit more chicken soup. That's it. Except, wouldn't that be cannibalism? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Giving a chicken chicken soup. What the hell's happened there? What did I do? I know, I think it's, it might be the way Mark did it. An angry chicken, yep. Read that. I'm looking forward to my jerk chicken later today. That's gonna be great. <coughs> Rice and peas. Yeah, I heard, I heard it was great evening. Yeah. And I think it's Phil and his dad. Yeah. Ellie was there as well. Yeah. And, uh, Phil, Phil Newcastle, Phil. Phil. He's a good lad, that bloke. Yeah. Really great bloke. Yeah. I have made Mexican hot chocolate for the first time in a while. I might have added a bit too much Chipotle. Oh, God, that's going to be spicy. I told you about uh, box office. What did he do? We walked it down Northumberland Park. Oh yeah, he chased right. after oh, Alistair Gold. Alistair Gold. <laughs> the funniest thing ever. You haven't seen anything like it in your life. There, you know, Alistair Gold was about to get his train, right? And he was sort of walking quickly. Suddenly he went into a, a jog, thinking there is a mad black man coming down the road after him. <laughs> Not the area that you want to be... Uh, oh, bloody hell. Seeing someone run at you. Oh, it was funny. He's a good lad, box office. But he, he did say, you know, he, he, he thought about it afterwards and he thought that wasn't the best thing for me to do. What a what a nice guy. Oh, he is. I have a laugh. I have a laugh with him. I like him on the streams. He's, like he's a bit too much on the streams, though. Yeah, but he's different. He's different to everybody else. He, he's brilliant. Really good bloke. And he's got blocked by his mate, Chris Cowley. Oh, did he? What's he said to him? I don't know, I don't know what he's done. I can't deal with him on streams now. I just want to turn off. Oh, like, funny, he's that? brilliant. He's brilliant to watch if you're watching. But if you're on the stream, it's too much. You're like, all right, let's calm down, everyone. He was funny the other night when he was on with Henry and, and uh, Will. Oh, yeah. Was funny. Seventeenth of March. What's happening? Seventeenth of March. <clears throat> oh yeah, I remember. Uh, I'm gonna have to. was in the Super Bowl this year, Ian and Jason. Who I had no idea. I've not watched a single NFL game this year. Let's have a look. All we know is Rihanna is doing the It's the Eagles versus the Chiefs. Okay. Eagles versus the Chiefs. Okay. K 
KC are going to win, apparently. Don't care for either of them. Kansas City are going to win. Not that I know anything about American football. I have got zero clue about any of the teams. All I know is Bills stands for, boy, I love losing Super Bowls, according to my friends who support the Dallas Cowboys. And I feel really sorry for them. Not that I support a team. As long as the Chiefs don't win, uh, I'm good. I'm just a very salty Bengals fan. Yeah, you are. All the way. KC all the way. I just enjoy watching Patrick Mahomes play in his start, is his unique start. Yeah. I think KC will win. Not that I've got any horse in the race. What are all your snacks for the soup? Oh, it's, a sh- it's a shame you can't. Like, there's no wing joints near us. I'd love to be eating a ton of buffalo wings with a mountain of blue cheese and watching the Super Bowl. But hey ho, they're basically trying to turn the Champions League into the Super Bowl. The way that if they could get away with it, they would have a halftime show at the Champions League. But they no, they would be there would be a riot. Well, it's not been done, so not yet. They do a massive concert before the thing. Uh, the, what's her name? The, um, the Fifth Harmony woman. Um, oh, what's her name? Camilla Cabello. They did a. They did a. Uh, what's it called? Um, she did a concert last year and she was booed off the she was booed out of the building. Uh, then again, everyone loves the Eagles, right? Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a wonderful place. Yep, such a lovely place. Uh, Bengals have lost three of the most entertaining Super Bowls of my lifetime. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Big up, Leo. Hopefully you're well, buddy. Hopefully you're great. Lovely to see you, buddy. Lovely to see you. Yeah, she um, Camilla Cabello got really angry last year because she was booed out of the building. They were like, we, we don't want to watch your concert. We're here to watch football, not, not your concert. Uh, I've only been alive for two of those. Still can't believe they got there last season. They'll, they'll win one eventually, Ian. They'll get there. But yeah, if they start putting um, concerts <coughs> before football games, I will be uh, like, th- th- there'll be riots. And damn right, there should be riots. Why? There shouldn't be a concert before a football game, the Champions League final. We're, we're, we're there to watch the football. My son's party is this weekend, plus he is a Chiefs fan. Well, that's good to know. I'm not worried. The franchise finally looks like they know what they're doing. Good stuff. Wish we were that. We've got no idea what we're doing. Super Bowl birthday party. Great stuff. All the hot wings, buddy. All the hot wings. <clears throat>
and that on that note, I think it's actually time to end the show because we're getting up to the the hour. We're getting up to the hour. <clears throat> so right, so next week we will not be here. We will be in Milan for Tottenham Hotspur versus AC Milan. And it's been fun. We're going to have fun. We're going to watch Tottenham beat AC Milan, hopefully. So next stream will be, we will be on Kuv and the Kang this Sunday at 10.30 UK time, which is half past five Eastern and half past four Central uh, with the wonderful Bobby K and Mr. Kuva 99. Uh, we'll be joined with Sava and with Ellie. There's going to be the five of us. So yeah, join us on Kuva and the Kang on Sunday night. The next stream we will be here will be not next uh, Monday. It's the one Monday afterwards. So that's, let's have a look. The date is, <clears throat> the next one will be the 20th of February. 20th of February will be our next stream. The Super Bowl being over there. No, not really. People are starting to watch it more, but it's that's who knows. Uh, live Milan coffee shop. We'll try. On the move. On the move. So, on that note, it's time to end the show. Hi, Jacob. Big up. Watch this man later as well. Uh, have we got the link for his show? Let's get the link for his show. United Spurs of America. Uh, going live at quarter to 11. So, Yes. Watch that man show. Watch that man show. 10.45, United Spurs of America. It's been growing in popularity steadily, but it's still way behind. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you on Sunday for Coove and the Kang. Late night tonight with Irish Hotspur. Great stuff. Great stuff. See you on the 20th of February back here and as always if you smell what the cough is brewing have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you in milan ciao amici Good afternoon.